Hi everyone, it's Kim. Welcome back to my channel. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. So today I'm bringing you another product review and I'm pretty excited about this one because if you know anything about me, I am super techie and I love gadgets. So this is right up my alley. So today we're going to be reviewing the eTech City Smart Nutrition Scale. And this scale actually Bluetooths to your phone to give you full nutritional information based on whatever food you're putting on it. So I wanted to kind of talk to you during the unboxing and then I'm going to go ahead and follow the directions. I'm going to download the software and then once I do that I will come back to you and we're going to play with this thing and have some fun. So my thoughts are is that I'm going to actually use it for the next few days and just check it out, learn the ins, the outs. Um, I do also have a code for you and I'll link that, well actually I'll put it here. So I'll have the Amazon link listed below along with the code again, that one is good now through February 8th, 2019. And that is to save 35% off of your purchase. So if you're going to grab this, I would grab it and save that additional 35% off because it's a great deal. All right, so let's open it up. Let's see what it looks like. And then again, I will go ahead and get the software downloaded and then let's check it out. So there's a little bit of paperwork in here and some instructions. This package is nice and tight in here, so it looks like it's um, definitely not going to get damaged during the shipping process. And again, I have not even pulled this out yet, so I'm looking at it for the first time right along with you. It's a nice size scale. Ooh, it's really pretty too. All right, so this is what it looks like. It does come pre-installed with batteries. And let's see, AA batteries, which is really nice because I don't know about you, but when I purchase things and it comes with those little, um, those round CR batteries, I always have a hard time because if you run out of those, you don't have those in your house. So I really like when a product uses just regular, normal, everyday batteries that you have sitting in your battery drawer. So again, let me go ahead and get the software installed and then we will check it out. Okay, so what I thought I would do is I would start off with something really easy. So hopefully you can see the scale and my phone so it says here on my phone what's on the scale so we're gonna search for the food and we're gonna put an apple okay so now I'm going to place an apple on the scale and it says this apple is 98.8 .8 calories, it weighs 6.7 ounces and then it gives you the protein, the fat, and the carbs. And then you can track it. I guess you could track it for your breakfast. I can also click here to view the nutrition facts. I like that it has the dietary fiber here, 4.6 grams. I think this is really going to come in handy for those times that you're trying to get an accurate point count on some of your foods. So when you're tracking your points in your Weight Watcher app and you're just calculating things on your own, I mean, I know an apple is zero points, but in this case, you could actually really drill down on an item to find out exactly how many points it is because you're not taking it on average or you're not taking it off the package. I mean, this is really cool. Now, I know some of you out there that follow me do not do 
Weight Watchers and you do like keto and things like that, I'm pretty sure that you could also, I think, it, I think it's called macros. I'm pretty sure you can do macros on this as well. So grapes, red or green, choosing that. Let's put some grapes on here. So you can see that the same information that's listed on your scale is listed on your phone here. This is, I mean, this is really gonna give me a lot of good information. This is, I'm, I'm, I'm very pleased. I'm really glad that they chose me to review their product. I mean, because this is gonna be fun to play with over the next couple of days and I think it's really going to help me really hone in and identify some of the things that I'm eating. Now, the setup for the scale was super simple. I went to my app store because I do have an Apple phone and it was just a couple of buttons. I signed up for the app because it asked you to log in and sign and create an account. So I did that. A couple easy quick steps took me just a matter of maybe less than two minutes and it, I'm probably over calculating the amount of time. So the app operation, hopefully you can, you know what, I'll just throw a couple pages in here. I'll, I'll take a picture of a couple of the pages just to kind of show you the basics on it. Um, so it says search the food, what's on the scale, what you're going to need to have your phone for. And you can put in the information there and you could tap meals and choose which meals it goes under. So this is actually a tracking mechanism as well. So again, I know that I track currently on my Weight Watcher app. But for those of you who are not doing Weight Watchers, again, this is really going to be super simple for you to accurately track your foods. Okay, so I know what you're probably thinking next is Kim. I really like the scale, I just want a scale to weigh my food. So what do I do if I really don't want to always use the app or I just want to use it as a normal scale? So here's what I'm going to suggest to you. I'm going to place a bowl here and then I'm going to press this little button here to zero it back out. Okay, so that it's not getting the bowl itself. So I'm going to package up some of these pretzel crisps. And it says that, sorry for the crinkling, it is 11 crackers or, sorry, I'm trying to get this in here. There we go, 28 grams. So let's measure out 28 grams of this cracker. Currently you can see here that we have it on ounces. So I'm going to press the unit button that changes it to pounds and then I change it one more time to grams. So we're looking for 28 grams of pretzel crisps. So I'm going to start throwing some in the bowl. 18, 25, 31, 28. I don't know how when I put one on there, it was 27, you put, it just cracks me up. All my scales do that. You're like, come on, just want one more. So I've got that in there. And now let's say that I want to go through and I want to check out the app. So I'm just opening up my phone here. And if I pull up in my app, it says there's 28 grams of something on here. So I'm gonna say what's on the scale. And I'm going to type in, I'm just gonna pull this off the side, pretzel crisp. Okay, so pretzel crisps are not in the app, so let's see how we add one. So I'm just going to put my phone 
here. Maybe you can see it there. Okay. So we're going to add a new food. Pretzel crisps. Oh, look. We can take a photo. Use that as the photo icon. There we go. And it says food servings grams. Let's backspace that. 28 ounces. Next. And then it has us put all the different calorie information in. So I'm going to enter this really quick off camera because that would be totally boring. Okay, so I've got that in. It says I've created the food successfully, and it says that the serving that I have here, which is now sitting at 27 grams instead of 28, is 106.1 calories. And we can view the nutritional facts, and there we go. Oops, let me pull you over here a little bit. Hopefully that's coming through pretty clear. So that's really cool. I mean, I think it's very easy for you to add in something super simple um, like this. I don't think it's much different. I mean, I had to put a couple extra things in here, but when we calculate our foods in our Weight Watcher apps, it works the same way. I got a glare on that right now. There we go. Okay, so now I can get the food to match up on the scale. I could type in pretzel crisps because it begins how I've entered it. And all of our nutrition information will now show here. Pretty cool, right? Alright, I'm, I'm, I'd just like to say that I am super impressed with the scale. I can see me replacing my old scale on the counter with this one very easily. I am touching the scales, that's why it's jumping. So I'd like to thank eTech City for letting me review the scale because I, for one, would really recommend the scale. I am so happy that I now have this in my tool set to keep me on track, to keep my, my tracking so much easier. I really can't say enough good things about it. I, I'm just, I'm totally impressed with the scale. So again, I have a link to purchase, the Amazon link to purchase the scale down below. There's also a 35% off code that you can save off of the scale and that code is good through February 8th, 2019. And with that said, I am going to sign off from here so that I can get this video uploaded so that you can check out the scale for yourself. All right. Have a great day. We'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.